friends. It's me, Steph, I'm wearing a bobble hat today. Is it in shot? Mm -hmm. It's a very big bobble on this hat. As you might know, it was my birthday very recently. Insert photo of my epic birthday cake. Why oh, am I only half in the game? It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just look at my birthday cake. Scoot over. <laughs> So this video is going to be a little bit different to any video I've done in the past because I've never done this before and I'm excited to give it a try. This could be the first ever professional video we have ever done. With birthday money, I also got hold of Ooh. this paint set. You might be thinking, that looks like a watercolour sweat. <laughs> well, you are very wrong. Sorry for shouting at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> wrong! <laughs> This is a gouache pan set that I've already been getting my use out of. <laughs> Lovingly used. Yeah, I could have like cleaned it up a bit and pretended that it was nice looking for this video, but at least you know I use it. I wanted to quickly show you some of the paintings I've been doing with my little gouache set. Which, but... look at, just look how pretty these are. Is this... That is so warm and like autumnal, it's really pretty. I really wanted to do like an autumn -y picture. And wasn't there, yeah, the bird and too. I also did a bird. Isn't that gorgeous? What a pretty birdie. This inspired me to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I've been nervous to. Let's see, it's Royal Langicle Essentials. It's literally the cheapest one that I could pick up. There is a very good reason as to why you have picked a cheap palette though, isn't there, sweet? Yeah, I was broke at the time. <laughs> <laughs> no! It was. I wasn't joking. But a paint palette is a paint palette, and it will do. It's cheap. Cheap, yeah. The whole bind's quaking, it doesn't, want to be, <laughs> doesn't want to be near it. I reckon it should do the trick. It's got like slots for paint. And thumbs. How many does it have? I'm not good at counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten times two, twenty. So basically, I want to set up a paint palette so that I have all these in this little cheap palette and hopefully nothing goes wrong because I don't want to waste expensive paint. I'm sure you guys who like paint know that feeling. If it does, consider it karma for you being a cheapskate. Also the video's a bit late because we had to wait for vegetable glycerin to arrive in the mail because apparently we need to include that so it doesn't like dry out and get all cracked. I've also brought in a brush to give it a pop around with. Give it a good stir. And a pat. Okay, Han, so what do we do first? Okay, so I'm a bit scared to do this because oh. I value these paints so much that okay. I very, very, very rarely use them. Oh, well, it's time which... to conquer that fear. Yeah, and I realised the problem with not using them very often is that I think a few of them have started to harden up in the tube. Oh, no! Which, if it is the case, um, we might have to like cut these open and there's ways you can salvage like dried up gouache so that might be another step that we have to take. Well, I do love any excuse to use a <laughs> knife. I guess we'll start with this geranium because it's the first one in the box. Okay. Oh dear, that does look like it's a bit dried up. Oh, oh here it oh, comes. It, it's kind of like a paste. It's definitely not the same consistency as when I first got it. Ooh. Yeah, that honey. That's the palette, please. And I received a tip that you were using Holbein in this cheap thing. Wow, it's so thick, it's hard to get into the pipette. So two drops, my sweet. One, a two. Apparently vegetable glycerin has like tons of like art uses as well, which I didn't realize. Really? Apparently so. What do you do now? Do you just mix that in? So I'll give it a little oh my. mix around. Oh dear. I watch people on YouTube doing this and they made it look so much easier. It looks like diarrhea. No, it's red! <laughs> oh my god. Guys, if your diarrhea looks like that, see a doctor. How do people get like really smooth, cute looking palettes? What is the aesthetic way of doing that? Comment down below guys, teach us how to make Yeah, teach me after I've already done this and it looks gross. <laughs> oh well, paint's paint, it will work nevertheless. Wow. Well, there we go. The first one looks like a bullet wound. Do you want me to try and mix one next? Yeah, if you'd like to. I feel more confident now. There we go. Is that enough? Bit of boy? Mm, I imagine it's probably enough. Well. And don't forget to use the vegetable glycerin. Okay. Now I'm going to try and use it in this. Oh no. Because I think it's thick enough. Yeah, it is. It won't pour unless I squeeze it. One. How do we then like flatten that into the palette? Give me the paintbrush. Okay. 
gonna say, you know, my method didn't, uh, didn't do much. You have to tease the paint. Imagine you're on that first date and you're being playful. With it. <laughs> <laughs> Dating advice with yeah. gouache. <gasps> Yours looks so much better, can you help me with mine? <laughs> you can even put some more in mine if you want to, but please just help me because mine looks dreadful. It does look like a gunshot wound, doesn't it? Should I put some more in? Okay. I'll just give it one more extra drop. Boop. I hope we don't make it too sticky. Nah, I doubt it. I think you might need some more paint. <laughs> okay. I have nothing to tease. <laughs> Give me some more, give me something to work with. Oh, is, this, is this an aesthetic video yet? <laughs> Through the beauty of skin graft, we have repaired the gunshot wound. Now this one might be our first really tough guy. He's really struggling to come out. Oh no. Surprise, surprise, he is a green. Come on. Mm, mm. It's just like, when you have when you haven't had enough bran in a while. <laughs> Come on! I'm still shocked at how nice yours looks compared to my red. Why, why are you? Is there anything that we can do to make my red look more attractive? Why are you shocked? I don't like that you're shocked. Because I thought I'd be good at this. I'm meant to be the aesthetic gouache gal. What, what am I supposed to be? Pencil boy. <laughs> are you trying to salvage your one? <laughs> What's that, what's that meme from The Simpsons? Stop, it's already dead. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, the colours that are coming out of the tubes is literally the same colour that's on the label. It's very impressive, yes. Yeah, I honestly think it's like the best paint that I've ever owned. Hence why it very rarely gets used, but maybe doing this, it will encourage me to use it a bit more. Especially since that red already looks very tampered with. I think you <laughs> tampered with? It looks like he was murdered. The stage is set for you to do a beautiful palette. Oh no, the greens just really don't want to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Push! <laughs> do you want me to try and get it into the palette for you, hun? Yeah, I think I'm going to break my yeah. wrist. Oh no. Another green as well, that's so strange. Let's see if we can get him out. Oh, oh, here he comes. He looks so strange. Here it's like, have you comes. ever had that tin soup before when you tip it out the can and what it just falls out in that shape and it just goes What, what tin soup have you been eating? That sounds gross. I know, right? She's doing so proud. I'm so proud. You're doing it, honey. No, stop stabbing it. That's the way. That's it. Then mix it and whip it like ice cream. Yeah, there you go. Smoothing it up. You're so aggressive at the minute, you're like stabbing it to death. Okay, we've got a very special colour coming up. This one is one of my all-time favourite paint colours. What is it? So it's rose pink. Look at all those. Oh. I'm just looking at all the paint on your hands. I oh know, I'm God. absolutely covered in it. <laughs> this is like one of the earlier ones I had. It's a Dale Rowney one. Okay. The does not want to come off. Oh no, have I just got that much? Yeah, oh I my don't God. want to jump off. <laughs> I this can help get it into the palette. No, I think you'd need to see actual paint swatches of it. Basically, this one's a really cute colour. This one looks really ugly when it's dry. <clears throat> well, if I was going to get any paint colour on my jumper, I'm glad it's this pink. Such a hot, beautiful pink. Just get this glycerin in. Add away, my sweet. We oh, yeah, had a third one. We're all <laughs> friends around here. <laughs> it's almost kind of mesmerising just to watch it be mixed up. It's so strange. <laughs> I love watching videos like this. Where you're just watching, you're like, oh, that's satisfying. Yeah, when people mm. set up their own paint palettes. Mm -hmm. I am kind of surprised, guys, because this is the first one that we've ever filmed, isn't it? Yeah, I've always been scared to set one up myself. So uh, We hope you like it because we're uh, excited, but also a little nervous, you know, to, uh, to try this out. Now, I am excited to see what the colour of these two are going to look yeah. like. Yeah, turquoise green and lilac. Now, Steph was just saying to me, you've never used these before? No, I've true? never used those two, yeah. Really? So you've never seen what they look like or anything? 
quite an excited. Oh. And Adam's just been squeezing them out into the palette so that we can add the glycerin and try to speed up the... Oh god, that looks so see? cool. And look what, look what Steph was saying, how close that is to the label. Yeah, can you it's see? like almost identical. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, there's a reason, obviously, they are as expensive as they are, but the colours that they make are just beautiful. Let me just pop the cap on that one, and we'll try this lilac colour too. Ooh. <laughs> That's really nice, isn't it? There we go. Also note as well, these are gouache, not acryl gouache. I have no idea if there's a way you could set up an acryl gouache palette, but oh. I'm guessing not because it's acrylic. Mm. I don't think it would be reactivated. I'm colorblind. <laughs> a one, two, a three. I still stand by that the red's looking the ugliest so far. The red one? The, oh, the first one. Yeah, oh, well, that's the first one you did, wasn't it? I mean, you can't be too mean to yourself. The only thing that you need to feel bad about is putting this beautiful gouache in this cheap, disgusting palette. Oh, I don't be mean to the palette. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's all the, and it's even got like a thumb hole. Or if you're a nosy worm, you could use it too. Also, it's worth noting, I've watched a few videos of people doing things like this. I need a bit but more. <clears throat> this is literally my first time trying, so if I'm yeah. doing anything wrong, feel free to tell me what I'm doing of wrong. Of course, yeah. If you have any. I know YouTube loves to tell me what I'm doing YouTube wrong. YouTube loves telling me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys are really sweet. But yeah, any tips is, uh, are always appreciated. Especially to avoid mishaps such as that one. Ooh, the colours look so good in it. And to be honest, this palette is like way better quality than what I was expecting for a pound. Yeah, I mean, it's literally one pound, yeah. You know, what I was expecting for this price mm -hmm. was I was expecting it to be like plastic down the middle and that when you fold it, it starts to snap the plastic. <laughs> yeah, it goes, Join me for my new exciting series, Grieving with Gouache. Grieving with <laughs> Gouache? Because it's hard. <laughs> it's a hard medium. Oh my god! <laughs> Just brought a paint tube at the wall. I'm grieving. <laughs> Leave me be. Join me next time for grieving with Gouache. Hello, you. Do you have something extra you wish to share with the audience? You know I do. Because it was my birthday recently, mm -hmm. Adam surprised me with a new 2DS. <laughs> I just wanted to really quickly show you because this one came with um, Animal Crossing pre-installed on it. Yeah. And I already have um, Animal Crossing that I've got like over 200 hours on. Oh but I didn't realize that playing the one that's pre-installed, yes. it makes like another save. So I've got two Animal two? Crossing Oh, so you got like now. two towns. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm excited to show you guys who some of uh, my new villagers are. Oh. I hope they're not lame villagers. It's a really lame town. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we've got someone new moving into the town today. Oh, a new loser. <laughs> a new loser. <laughs> Welcome to Loserville. You'll fit right in. And look, my character's got brown hair and brown eyes because I haven't unlocked like the hairdressers oh, no. yet. Oh, that's the person who's just moved in. It's a goat. It's focused on your face. Do you want to try and tilt the light? There we go. There we go. How do you say that? Chevry? Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> I don't think that's how you say Trevor, you got a lot of boxes. I want to try and find the squirrel, and there's a really scary looking lion as well. Oh, okay. There's a ghost town. Your town is terrible. <laughs> it's only just been made like a day ago. This is my birthday town. Lame town. Oh yeah, he's two of my weird villagers in here. <laughs> I can see a hippo, that's an instant win. <laughs> the lion reminds me of Bumble, our guinea pig. <laughs> the last one I want you to see is my good friend Ricky, but I'm not sure if Ricky's in right now. I thought Ricky looked a lot like Wario. I got such a shock. Right, look, see, looks like a cute squirrel, right? I can see him, yeah. Right? Okay, and you get oh, it to no. turn around. Hello. What do you think of my new villages? Are any of those your favorite animals? Let me know. I don't think I'll be taking a trip to Nightmare <laughs> Town anytime soon. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little, uh, what would you call this? A palette setup maybe? Yeah, it's been like paint palette setup. It's been a bit of a gouache talk. It's been a bit of like a paint mess. Yeah, kind of like an update kind of. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle day. Oh, hit that like button, like button nation. Yes, and do, please do that too. <laughs> Until then guys, see you next time. This paint's gonna be on everything I own for the rest of my life. <laughs>